Hey everybody, new Game of Thrones trailer, let's break it down. There's a new round of the giveaway too, all you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. So what is this talk about Sansa saying, the lone wolf dies but the pack survives? It sounds like Littlefinger is speaking to her in the trailer, teaching her to fight battles in her mind while Jon Snow is fighting the real physical battles trying to form the alliance in the north and then you see this backdrop of all the wars happening across Westeros. So it gets really crazy later in the trailer, let's just go through this shot by shot, this is nuts. You see the gate opening up at the wall, Jon Snow and the wildlings stepping out into the frozen north. We get a shot of the Lannister controlled King's Landing. It looks like the peasants aren't too happy. If you remember way back during season two, they had that big Joffrey riot where they killed one of the great Septons and they almost carried Sansa off. Cersei looks like she's back down in the black cells where she's keeping Septa Unella. I know we've seen a lot of the mountain, but it's going to be really grisly just to think about the things that they've been doing to her down there. More of Daenerys landing at Dragonstone and then walking around the map table. Arya slowly making her way back to Winterfell. This looks like Jaime still at King's Landing walking around the battlements. Littlefinger back in the crypts. This is a repeated shot from the last trailer. They keep talking about battles as people are sharpening their blades. So it's just people preparing for war. And even though there's going to be a lot of war this season, I think we're expecting season eight to be like a six episode long battle, like every single episode. Daenerys walking on the beach on Dragonstone. The cool thing about this, the way they shot this, you can see this outline of what looks like a dragon etched in the rock here. It's just the natural formation of the rocks, but I love the imagery. She's literally walking into a dragon as she's walking into Dragonstone. That Jon Snow voiceover is also very apropos too. He's talking about banding together to fight common enemy. He's talking about Robert's Rebellion, fighting the Targaryens. But in reality, because they cut all of the Night King and the White Walkers into this trailer, you're really thinking about everyone in Westeros banding together to fight their common enemy because the enemy is real. And then they get all the shots of the White Walkers. But this is Daenerys pulling down Stannis' banner as she walks in. We finally get a better shot of the dragons. We've only seen Drogon in the previous trailer, but this is just such a beautiful look at Dragonstone. I love this worried, concerned look on Tyrion's face. Shot of Theon with the Greyjoy battles. There's a couple more big Greyjoy shots in this trailer too. Grey Worm looking like he's getting ready to assault Casterly Rock. Suddenly you remember that story that Tyrion told about how his father gave him the task of fixing the plumbing in Casterly Rock so the waste would flow like Lannister gold out of their minds. This looks like their infiltration point. If you look at the map here, Lannisport, Casterly Rock are right here so they probably sailed into this bay. Pod and Brienne at Winterfell, we had a shot of them training in that last behind the scenes trailer. So it looks like Pod's trying to get better, Brienne just kicking the crap out of him. And I love that they jumped to the shot of the Hound way up in the frozen north. So he's definitely part of Jon Snow's band. Like when you see them all circled up here, you see them running during different parts of the trailer, fighting with the Night King. They're standing here with what looks like the fist of the first men. He along with Beric Dondarrion and the flaming sword that you saw Stannis use. You could think of it as a Zora High, but I love the way that it just lights up on command. He doesn't stick it in the fire, it literally just lights up. This shot of the Unsullied being taken down by arrows looks like it's connected to the shot of Jaime on the field with the archers. Just more of the Unsullied charging the Lannister infantrymen. More of the Greyjoy battle as they're burning each other's ships. And then so many of you have been asking me, when is Bran finally going to fly? This is how Bran is flying. He's flying over the army of the dead looking at the Night King. So you see the eye of the crow sort of switch so you can tell that he's warred into it. That's what the three-eyed raven meant when he said that you will fly someday. And then you see the Night King notices him so he can sense Bran's presence. This shot of Bran here actually makes it look like he's at Winterfell in this wheelchair with Davos here. So this might be connected to Sansa, him telling everyone about Jon Snow's heritage. So it might be from before Jon Snow goes up to the wall or it could be connected to this shot of Bran warging all the ravens over the army of the dead. And just for the record, even though he does have the flaming sword, I do not think that he's a Zora High. But remember in the books how he gave his last kiss of life to Lady Stoneheart? He's been resurrected six times. He had like one more to go. He gave that last one to Lady Stoneheart. Maybe he'll do the same thing up north of the wall because Sansa's talking about the lone wolf dying. So maybe he'll give the kiss of life to Jon Snow this season. We get all these Greyjoy ships making their way into Blackwater Bay, just reminding you of the Blackwater episode. This time, they might not have as much wildfire, so it'll be interesting to see how they deal with that. 
the Unsullied in formation, getting ready to assault Casterly Rock. So this looks like it's connected to that shot of Grey Worm sneaking beneath Casterly Rock so that they could get a strike force in so they can get the regular army through. Daenerys on the battlements of Dragonstone, Jaime riding across a field of fire. It looks like Drogon, after the archers took down some of the Unsullied, Drogon rode in and just roasted the entire battlefield, field of fire style, during Aegon's conquest. So there's a lot of parallels for Aegon's conquest in Season 7. Just more of the Greyjoy battle, blowing the crap out of each other. And then all over Westeros, the battles get cranked up. You see Tormund taking a swing at the Army of the Dead. You see Drogon riding ahead of the Dothraki Blood Riders. You see Theon and Yara entering their battle that's connected to all those ships blowing up. Really awesome looking Lannister infantrymen that have absolutely no idea what's coming for them. And this is probably one of my favorite shots of the trailer. What looks like the Fist of the First Men with Jon Snow, Beric Dondarrion, and it looks like Tormund just getting assaulted by the Army of the Dead. Missandei and Grey Worm action, if you're a big fan of their relationship. I know a lot of people made comments about what the mechanics of this relationship are going to be. Because he's been cut, that's the whole idea that he's unsullied. And you might not be able to tell by looking at this, but this is finally Jon Snow at Dragonstone. You can tell by the rock formations in the background. So this has got to be from at least episode 2, 3, 4, however fast you think he's going to make a beeline for Dragonstone to treat with Daenerys. Jon Snow versus White Walkers, round 2 with Longclaw. Even though this looks like it could be White Walkers, I think this is actually from the Drogon battle after he's lit the field up, like you have all these soldiers riding through the field of fire. Back on the beach at Dragonstone, and this actually looks like our first legit shot of Euron Greyjoy, just having it out with Theon and Yara's men. And this here, this actually looks like so much fun. So this is a Dragonstone with Drogon looking down, which is probably what Tyrion is looking up at, really worried. We actually got some behind the scenes for this. You see Tyrion sort of scanning his eyes around at this big green screen thing as it's looking at him while it looks like he's getting ready to crap his pants. This shot looks like it could be Jon Snow as Sansa says, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. But remember, there are a number of people that are dressed up in furs, so trailers are always a bit misleading. This could even be Mira riding on horseback. But I love this shot here of Jon Snow with Longclaw that reminds you of Episode 9, Battle of the Bastards, as he was being charged down by all those Boltons on horseback. So it's sort of a mirror for that, except this time he has the army of the dead that's charging him. So we can just cross our fingers and hope that a dragon will arrive in time to save him. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite part of the trailer and what do you think about the idea of Littlefinger's voiceover to Sansa about her fighting battles in the mind and her coming to the conclusion that the lone wolf, very clearly talking about Jon Snow, dies but the pack survives and what that says about their relationship this season. That just sounds crazy, but I have a couple more Game of Thrones videos planned for later this week, and I'll say congratulations to Tomo, you're the latest giveaway winner. Leave all your requests for bonus videos in the comments below, but you can click here for all the other behind the scenes videos, and you can click here for all my other season 7 videos. Thank you so much for watching, everybody stay awesome, I'll see you guys tonight.